Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do the rectangle effect or like this really cool swipe effect that you already saw in the intro. But yeah, I'm going to be showing you how to do it. I got a request from this uh, from a DM on Discord. And if you guys have any like questions or like problems with your DaVinci Resolve, you can just DM me on Discord uh, at chop hashtag 1888. You can DM me there uh, and I'll try to answer more of your questions and maybe even make tutorials sometimes on like some effects that you want to see. So yeah, let's get straight into this tutorial right now. Okay, so first thing you want to do is you want your clip. I'm just going to drag into this as a clip. So... I'm just gonna cut off like the clip the the part that we don't want and then we just have this. So right there like that. It's a pretty simple clip. And I'm just gonna go ahead and do the velocity first without the music. Cause I feel like that just works better. But anyways. Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and find the cliff shot of impact where So right here is the shot of impact where the blue glow for siphon just like comes out So we're just gonna go ahead and mark that and what we're gonna do is right click right click on this We're gonna go ahead and go to retime curve. We're gonna drop down. This is pretty simple stuff You guys most of you guys should know how to do this so I'm just gonna do this quickly. Go left like 10 frames. Go 10 like, go back like a few frames here. Just gonna go ahead and speed this up to 250 and then just go until the end here and just go ahead and slow this down to 50%. And just gonna go ahead and smooth these out. So let's just let this play. So we have the edit. And then I think I need to get rid of a little bit of this time here. Yeah, so that looks pretty good. So it just speeds up and then it slows down. So that's pretty cool. So we're just gonna go ahead and close out of this retime. Yeah, we're probably going to cut off a little bit more of this clip because I don't really want that much. So from, yeah, this starting here seems fine. So we're just going to go ahead. Uh, oh yeah, and if your playback's lagging like I am right now, I'm just going to go ahead and switch to proxy mode quarter resolution. So it plays at like quarter resolution, which is like 4DP, I think. So yeah, now we're going to go ahead and drag in our music. I usually don't use music in these tutorials, but I really want to sync this one up because syncing is very important for this kind of stuff. So yeah, I'm going to be show putting music in this one. So what we're going to do, let me just go ahead and lower the volume of this really quickly. So we're just going to go ahead and find the beat drop of your clip. I mean, of, we're gonna find the beat drop of the music. For me, you're gonna have to sync to some other beat drop, but right now I'm gonna just go ahead and find like the biggest beat drop of the song, which is basically this one. Yeah, it's very hard. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and cut around it a little tiny bit and then delete the rest of the parts. And then we're just gonna go ahead and drag this back into under the file. And we can just go ahead and go here. And then let's just go ahead and find the beat drop frame, which is basically this frame here where like the audio just goes to the max. <clears throat> and then we're just going to drag that there, sync it up, and then we're just going to go ahead and resize the music. So that looks pretty cool. But let's just play this back with only the music. Alright, so yeah, that's pretty basic. Uh, now I'm going to just go ahead and add an adjustment clip and just add whatever effects I really want to add. So, adjustment clip here. So 
so yeah i'm basically done with the effects here i just had some basic um uh shake and some flicker no glow here but yeah it's pretty basic hold up i'm gonna i don't think yeah i don't think this will play back it's gonna lag too much but there's a basic flickering basically nothing much but yeah that's basically it for the um adjust adjustment clip here so we're just gonna go ahead and disable that and next now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and add another adjustment clip so we're gonna basically be finding like how long we're gonna be adding another adjustment clip so that the background fades to black so right here uh, until up uh, leading up to the beat drop we're gonna have the background fade like slowly to back slowly to back black or like not completely black but like black and white you know so i think we're gonna have a fade to black and white here and then it's gonna stay black and white throughout this entire part so we just go ahead and cut off because we want the black and white to obviously go away when the beat drop drops so here we just have like we just have like six frames i think a quarter of a second it's pretty long good enough so we're just gonna add color corrector and we're just gonna go ahead and keyframe this put the saturation all the way to zero um actually we just we can keep a little bit of saturation but you want you want to just keep it like below 0.3 so yeah 0 0.27 that looks pretty good and then we're gonna go ahead and go back here so and so that smooths out we're gonna go put it to one and it's just gonna slowly fade slowly fade not actually not slowly pretty quickly but it's gonna fade to black and white and right here you can see that this still doesn't give like a really good effect of something that we want to like hide so because this is gonna be the background of the rectangle so we want to hide this so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add go to generators here we're gonna add a solid color here so pretty nice solid color it just basically turns everything into bat black but we're gonna just put the opacity down to like 0.50 I think so here in the first frame we're obviously gonna have it at, uh, have the opacity at zero but then down here when it fades to opacity here so we're gonna go ahead and change fades to when the adjustment clip fades to black here we're gonna have to adjust uh, opacity of this rise up so that it turns black so there that looks pretty good it just slowly fades to black black and it's basically just in the background too and like the rectangle part will be perfectly fine and it'll be like bright and stuff so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and zoom out of this we're gonna find this we're gonna copy and then paste it here so that we see the clip here and what we're gonna do is right click on it unlink on link clips we're gonna deselect that and we're gonna basically delete the audio and now we have just basically the clip alone i'm just gonna go ahead and drag down the audio here so that we have more of this so we're gonna drag it all the way to video five and then we're gonna go ahead and make sure it's synced up so that the this and this is literally the same thing and we're gonna just cut over we're gonna control b on both sides of these solid colors or basically both sides of this and you can see that the effects just go away because this clip this layer is above all these layers so it kind of just cancels both of them out so what we're going to do it to show only the rectangle part of here is we're going to go into fusion and we're going to go ahead and add a rectangle here so a rectangle is right here you can just go ahead and press shift space and add in a rectangle as well but we're just going to drag in a rectangle from there we're going to connect this to media one and wait for it to load i don't know why all uh, these masks take so long to load but yeah there you go you can see it so what we're going to do is we're going to change the height down quite a bit actually i mean you can have it however you can have that rectangle however much you want but we're going to change the height here and the height to like 0.378 we're going to change the width to 1.2 so one right here you can see that when we twist it you can see like the blank part of the clips so what we're gonna do is just put this all the way to 1.2 so that it like how, however you rotate it it's still like the full clip okay so we're just gonna go ahead and put this back to zero and we're gonna make sure we're on the first frame here and 
go ahead and click on the angle and i think we're gonna change the angle a little bit so yeah i'm i'm probably just gonna have it like start here and then end up like here you know what i mean so you just start like this angle pretty cool and then at the end we're gonna go ahead and make it um like goes from here so we're gonna just have it like this so it just rotates a little bit so you can see the mask rotates this is pretty hard to render for your computer i don't know why it looks pretty simple but yeah it just rotates there and then when the shot hits it obviously completely disappears so yeah that's pretty cool and you can see that this rotation is very linear so what we're going to do is make it exponential by clicking on spot spline here get it click on that check mark and we're just gonna go ahead and go to like whatever wherever this thing is we're just gonna zoom out a lot okay there it is um just zoom in then just go ahead and make this a little wider you know and then you can see this angle this graph so it just goes straight down very linear um what we're gonna do is select all this just hold hold left click and select all this and press s and we're gonna make an exponential graph or an exponential graph which kind of looks like this so we just want to drag like a few of the function a few of the graphs around and then it looks that this looks pretty good honestly so it just kind of slowly fades down all the way to there so it kind of just like just, uh rotates really fast and then kind of slows down in the rotation speed so yeah that looks pretty good so yeah, uh, you can see here that like the, there is a background. So I think I'm probably going to lower the opacity of this a little bit and maybe change the saturation up a little bit as well. So we're just going to go ahead and go to the adjustment clip here and just lower the sat, just kind of make the saturation a little higher. So yeah, um, you can see that right now it's only this white strip and it does not look good yet So we're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have, be adding the last two things So what those are is it's also in this um, mass this rectangle part. We're gonna be adding uh, uni dot um, Edge glow uni edge glow So this glow is pretty different because it kind of like it's pretty easy to use and it just glows like the different colors it glows like whatever color it is it just glows like for example for if this part is red it's gonna glow red and it looks pretty good so I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys my preset so I just crashed uh, but now I'm back so I'm just gonna go ahead and load up this clip again it takes a while to render in everything so yeah there it is so what we're gonna do is go to fusion again and I'm gonna be showing you my settings for uh, edge glow so for this it's gonna be 50 down here it's gonna be 400 down there it's 700 uh, it's actually it's 250 and down here it's 700 so yeah um, you can see that there's like different colors glowing out of it and like you see for example purple is glowing purple out here and it just looks so sick it just looks amazing and the last thing we're gonna be adding is drop shadow so s underscore drop shadow you can use any kind of drop shadow that you want, but just S underscore drop shadow is literally the best drop shadow. So what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that like the drop shadow is... Alright, so I crashed again, but now I'm back. So I'm going to be showing you my drop shadow settings. So right here, we're going to change... Just keep the opacity at 1. We're going to keep the glow... Uh, we're going to put the shadow blur up. Opacity, put that all the way up as well, actually. Put it, put it at 5, and then we're going to just put the shadow blur down so that it like kind of reveals so we just want, want like a bit of shadow behind this mask thing so we're just gonna decrease that a little bit i don't really know and should we just keep it here i think we just decreased it yeah that looks pretty good and yeah so there's like a little bit of shadow behind it and then that's basically it i guess so that's basically it for the entire thing so now you can see that there's some depth to it and then it looks pretty good yeah, there's some depth to it. Um, you could obviously add like some other effects if you want. Uh, I, I've seen people add BCC Vintage uh, and like other kind of like stuff to make the this strip glow like vintage. But that's really like your choice. I kind of just like this modern, you know, 
a little more modern just like one strip that looks like elevated you know what i mean yeah so that's pretty much it for me and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys learned from it and peace out